So let's talk about map merge. This is actually a really cool feature. And it does, well, exactly what it says. It merges maps. It takes two maps and crunches them together. Now, this is only available with Xmine Plus, Xmine Pro, Xmine subscriptions, pretty much Xmine Plus and higher. And this is part of the creative toolbox. Okay, so Xmine Merge. Easy to get to. You're going to open the map merge section. So we're going to go into Tools, Merge, and it'll pull up the actual map merge box. What you're going to see is that any open workbook that you have will show, and you'll see, be able to see all the pages of all the workbooks that you currently have open. I'm going to go back and just de tell you what I mean by workbook. This is a workbook. This is a workbook. So these are the individual XMind files that you've saved wherever on your computer. Those are considered workbooks, okay? So anyone you have open, if you want to merge something and you don't see it on the list, just open, go into File, Open, and open that particular workbook. Now we're going to get back in here. So we're going to Tools, Merge. And let's just say I want to pick one of the ones. Here I did a review of XMind 2013 a while back. Let's try and merge that one in with the current my map I've got going on here. So they're completely unrelated, but I just want to show you the process of what happens if you go ahead and do this. I've selected it. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And just by FYI, you can't select multiple. You can't hit Control or, or Shift, and you can't select multiple. But it's still a really quick and fast and easy way to merge two different um, maps together. So XMind 2013, I'll hit OK. And it goes through and does everything, and now you can see it's giving me a breakdown of exactly what happened. I can click on it, and I can see I've got tons more stuff. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And pretty much I got all the all the information that I had from the XMind 2013 review that I did a while ago is now included in this map. You can see that it's also changed the name. So now it says XMind Plus, which was my original name, and it, it added the XMind 2013, the name from the other one that I that I merged and it just adds all the different categories that I have from all these different things. A neat feature and I'll go back over here, have a quick look. Now it, it the good news too is that when you go in, I'll have a look, I'll head over to my demo account. It's not going to change anything. This is the original XMind 2013 map that I worked on, you know, whenever it was. This is still exactly the, the way it was. So it didn't change this one. All it did was it brought all the information from here into the new my map. So that's a pretty cool feature. I like it, and it's a, it's a definitely neat feature as part of the Creative Toolbox, Map Merge. If you found this video useful, get the Cheat Sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.